Right, it's Wednesday. Today I've been on the Kennet and Avon Canal up near Bradford on Avon for an army match. Let's just say it's been challenging. I'll take a picture of the board and that's it. See you Friday. Yeah, so it's Friday. You join me back down on the Dorset Stour near Christchurch, chasing chub predominantly. I've brought a float rod with me and I've given it an hour, uh, an hour upstream from here, but the water's too coloured and it's too fast. I've got loads of other excuses. I just really didn't feel as though it was working. So that's got put back into the quiver. Probably won't be seen again today. Uh, it depends on how far down I walk. It is now, well, lunchtime. I've been here for a couple of hours and uh, about third chuck I had this. Well, good morning. How's about some of this then? Six pound, seven ounces of Dorset Stour Chub. Uh, I followed that up with this little one here as well. Here we go, fish number two. Same swim, four and a half pound. Uh, but now I am chasing up and down the river trying to find somewhere to fish, which doesn't involve clambering over too many fences. Here we go, fish number three, five pound seven. Right, a bit of an evening update then. So that's now three chub, plus a little baby dinky one that I've had. A four, a five and a six. So it's been a very good day, really. Uh, all on cheese paste, all on link ledger, yada yada. I tried the float for a bit, didn't really work. And yeah, they've been finicky. I think the river's coming up. So it's uh, definitely proving to be challenging. And even swims that I was fishing all right this morning are now turning into snag pits for some reason. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Right, it is five o'clock now. I've got another three hours and then I'm off. So I might see you later with another fish, but if I don't, I will see you tomorrow somewhere else. Until then, ciao for now. Fish number four, well, proper fish number four, four pound 14 ounce. Here we go, four pound 13, fish number five. It's quite a good day today. Right, I'm gonna get this back upstream and go for another one. Right, good morning. It is now Saturday morning and you join me back down on the Hampshire Avon for the first time in a while. Hello, that'll be a bang then. I think I may have missed that one. Right, take 47. Uh, good morning, I'm back down on the Hampshire Avon for the first time in a while. Uh, I've come onto one of my favourite stretches. Basically I had to look at a tree, uh, which I have done. Uh, but since I'm here I thought I'd give it a couple of hours Jumped into one of my favourite chub swims. I've managed to lose one first cast. He's on. I'm at last time, right? Just quickly take a moment to compose myself. Yeah, so that's the best bite I've ever had off a chub on this bit of river. I'm actually shaking from it. Uh, <laughs> he's in the net down there. I'll show you him in a sec. Uh, but yeah, so I'll come down on here to look at a tree. Uh, and now I've put some cheese paste in a couple of swims and I'm gonna bounce up and down and uh, try and catch some more. But yeah, what a cracking start that is. I've lost one first cast, thought that I'd have a cup of tea whilst I've settled the swim down. And yeah, he's gone, rattled down. So, right, <laughs> wow, waffling, picture in a sec. Check this one out. Five pounds, seven ounces, Hampshire Avon, chub. He's absolutely gorgeous. Here we go, 10 minutes later, fish number two, just over four pound. Lovely, it's a good day. Just need it three pounds heavier. Don't think they're here though. Right, quick update. Just come into this little tiny slack. I put a bit of bait in it earlier. Just snuck in, put two bits of cheese in. Cast the rigging. Two minutes later, got him in, about three pound. Happy days. Right, I'm going to get him back and try one more swim and then I am off home. Uh, right, quick bit of an update just before I go home. Uh, dropped in this swim because uh, the last swim I was in, I've just lost a trout of about four or five pound. 
I could tell it was a trout when it was airborne for the fourth time. Uh, so yeah, it's got 10 minutes in it, then I'm off home. So I shall see you next time I'm out on the bank, which will probably be Wednesday. So until then, ciao for now. Right, it is now Friday afternoon. I didn't go fishing on Wednesday because the weather was horrendous, if I remember correctly. Uh, so I came, went home, sorted out some cheese paste, sorted my kit out. Uh, it rained for about a day and a half. Uh, drove to work this morning and the Bristol Avon was about two fields wide where I drive over it normally. So, of course, I'm on the perch pond because all the rivers are out of sorts. Uh, I've got prawns on both rods now. I did start off on a lobworm on the left-hand rod, but I've had loads of indications off little fish. Didn't convert any, so I've just switched over to a prawn now, and we'll see what happens. That's it, really. Uh, it's about, what, two o'clock now? Two, quarter past two, something like that. I'm not expecting much to happen for another hour or so. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this sun, because when the sun's out, it's lovely. Well, that's just hailed on me for some reason. It's like the weather is about two months early. All right, there we go, first blood. He's probably eight ounces taken on a whole prawn. Oh, but that's a fish, so I'm happy. Ish. There we go. Fish number three, bit bigger. Over a pound at least. All right, there you go. That water's freezing. Well, this one I've weighed and it goes two pound one ounce. Oh, they're getting there. All right, here we go. Here's another one. This one's £1.14. I actually thought this might have been the one, but it wasn't. Up a good scrap from the far side, though. Right, just gone five o'clock. As you can see, I'm getting plenty of indications. Uh, I've now had, I think, six perch, three little ones, one about a pound. Uh, uh, that last one was £1.14, and I've had that £2-pounder as well. So it's a really good day. I just need to get a bigger one. Loads of little fish nausing me up, though, even on prawn. There you go, look. That's a way. Right, I'll speak to you in a bit. Yeah, so that big bang was another small perch taking a whole prawn off. Oh, it's getting quite frustrating. Uh... Yeah, if I, I'm not going to bother updating you anymore. I'll go on, be away. No, it's just constant. So uh, I am going to hit that and I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, good morning. Uh, today I'm trying a new stretch of the Hampshire Raven for me. However, as you may be able to see, the water level's up a little bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, if we look in the field behind me there, we can see where it slopes off and that poor little car out in the distance, which is stranded. Bless them. Uh, so yeah, giving it. A f I've been here since about eight o'clock this morning. I fished three swims because of going through all the water. It's very hard work getting up and down the river. Uh, and yeah, that's about it really. I've had no bangs. Well, maybe one little tiny rattle. Uh, nothing really obvious. So I'm going to give it another hour here and then go home. I think I was going to go somewhere else, but there's no point. It's going to take forever to get there. There's no guarantee it's fishable. I might go for a walk upstream in a minute. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if I catch anything, I'll show you. If I don't, then I won't. And I will see you next time I'm out and about. So until whenever, ciao for now. How's about that? In challenging conditions, I'm well happy. Right, I am going to get him back. Oh, I don't know where. Around here somewhere. Give it another go here for 10 minutes and then uh, try somewhere else. Just before I packed up and went home, I thought I'd try a couple of other little spots with just me and a rod, and I've managed this four and a half pounder. Happy days. Uh, I am going to be packing up very shortly. So uh, I shall probably see you next time. Still a good day. Right, good afternoon. It's Tuesday afternoon. Just been on a meeting in town. Uh, decided to pop down the river. First cast, five pound nine ounce chub. Thank you very much. Oh, can't beat that, can you? Right, so that wasn't a bad start to the session. 
Uh, like I said, been on a meeting today in town, so I'm back down on the Avon. Uh, it's very full though. I would normally be sat there. However, well, in fact, next to that clump is where I'm normally sat in this swim. Uh, still cast into the same sort of area on the edge of the flow. And uh, yeah, we'll just see, giving it a, well, another 20 minutes in here. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Then I'm going to bounce up and down a few swims. See if I can't get any more. But if I can't get any more, £5.9, thank you very much. Right. I will update you if anything else happens. Basically, it's chucking cheese paste around slacks again because everything's flooded. And yeah, we'll see how we get on. So until later, ciao for now. Right, well, good afternoon. As you may have guessed by the lack of footage from yesterday, I had that one chub. Then I had a sea trout about three pounds, which I didn't bother videoing. And then nothing else. Uh, it's now Wednesday. I've come, been in work this morning and I've managed to finish I've come onto the perch pond again giving it a go got my little mate there begging for food I've got two rods out as usual on the running ledges both on prawn uh, the right hand rods across the far bank the left hand rods in behind those reeds there and that's it we'll give it an hour oh there you go indication there on the right hand rod yeah give it a few hours and see what happens Right, it's taken a while. Finally off the mark with this one about 10 ounces to a pound. Happy days. Get them back and uh, hope for another one or two or three. Here we go, fish number two. This one's two pound two. Another two pounder. Doing quite well on these. They need to be a lot bigger. Right, it's coming up on five o'clock and dusk. So that's two fish now, two proper bites and two fish. So, yeah, I'm starting to feel as I'm on the wrong venue because I'm getting lots of twos. So I think that's my sixth two, but there is a possibility that I'm catching the same fish. Uh, so I am going to look at a change of venues. And so I shall see you there on Friday, unless something sublime happens in the next hour. So until then, ciao for now. Here we go, fish number four. It's over a pound. All right, get this one back. There we go. Right, it's Friday afternoon. Join me back down on the perch pond. Reason being, it's really rained hard last night. So to save fish in a rising river, I thought I'd come down on here. Uh, plan as usual is prawns on the bottom. And uh, yeah, that's it really. Different area of the lake. And I've got to be honest, if it doesn't happen tonight and I catch one over two and a half, uh, then I'm going to be looking at a different venue. Uh, but yeah, that's enough whinging for now. I will show you if I catch anything. And if I don't, I won't. And I will see you next week. Right, it's about sunset time, about 20 to 6. These geese are noisy as folk. Uh, I've had one little perch that dropped off as I was about to land it. I've moved, I've got wet, I'm going home very soon. See you next time. Right on last knockins, I only managed one. Any little pup, probably eight, 10 ounces, but he'll do.